West Omaha family ends up with a huge headache after St. Patrick's Day. But it was a driver who celebrated too much and crashed into their house. Mike McKnight tells us the homeowner worries it's a sign of things to come in a Six on Your Side report. Smashed through the door and wall isn't how Ross Budwig dreamed of coming home to find a 2022 Tesla in his garage. We can't just reframe it. We actually have to tear out some of this concrete and redo it uh, because of how fast he hit the wall. Luckily, Ross, his wife, and two young children had been away about 8.30 Friday night, which saved the family's two vehicles from joining the damage report. So he came through here, hit this pole, kept going, tore up the yard, and then tore up the driveway, and then hit the garage. Neighbor Ron Miltenberger says traffic and speeds have increased on the new wider North 180th. The traffic since they opened this has really flowed fast. You got to watch it at the light. The driver who crashed into the Budwick home was cited for alleged drunk driving and provided proof of insurance. But Ross wonders if he needs more than repairs. The homeowner says he'd like some help in protecting his property because of the design of 180th Street. As you can see, there's a slight curve here and anyone losing control would head right toward his house. Small trees, a Berman light pole, didn't stop the out of control car from smashing into his house. It's definitely a wake up call and it illustrates the need for something. It would illustrate the need for some type of barrier to be in place. Omaha City Engineer Austin Rouser says Public Works will perform an analysis to determine if a guardrail is warranted at this location since 180th is just inside city limits. County jurisdiction is right next door. That project was just open in the last year so it's really pretty early to have any kind of an accident pattern and with drunk drivers um, you know you take that accident with a grain of salt. My property outline ends right here. So Ross is considering a boulder barrier. So if it came across here it would stop it would hit a boulder instead of proceeding onto our property. Any homeowner can put things on their own property. What they can't do is they can't go have somebody bring in boulders and put it right behind the curb. Engineers say don't categorize the slight curve on 180th as dangerous based on one alleged drunk driving crash. But after seeing damage caused by a Tesla smashing into his garage, Ross Budwick is plugged into a plan for a hard rock barrier to protect his property. Near 180th and West Dodge, Mike McKnight, 6 News. The Omaha City Engineer says there are already a number of safety features on 180th to protect adjacent homes if a driver loses control. A berm and trees, when they grow larger, should prevent a similar crash. County Engineer tells Mike that installing a guardrail without enough study could leave taxpayers vulnerable to a lawsuit if a driver hits it and is injured.